Miller has worked with some of Northern Ireland's most famous names, including Paul Rankin and Robbie Miller. He's now head chef of Baloo House, and access to so much fresh produce on his doorstep has shaped his style of cooking. Modern British food, what I think it is, is expressing your local environment, what you have around you, you see the land. I'm not trying to emulate always what, what others are doing. It's, it's not trying to, and it's also not trying to recreate the wheel. He views a competition like this as the perfect place to show off his skills. I really want to win. I want to show that Danny Miller is the next big thing to come out of this country. So are there any nerves at all behind this confident exterior? Food critics can be, well, food critics by nature, you know, so there are to criticise. But hopefully, he'll be in for a treat today and I'll knock his socks off. Hi there, Danny. Afternoon, Matthew. Fine fat scallops. Yes, uh, he's going to hopefully be serving you for your lunch today. And how are you going to cook them? I'm going to be doing seared scallops with leeks, ham hock, hazelnuts, and then for dessert, apple and blackberry crumble with buttermilk ice cream. Danny's main course is an innovative take on surf and turf, combining scallops and ham hock. While his dessert marries traditional and more contemporary elements, how successfully will he be able to bring off the old and the new? I don't believe in overworked food. Respect your ingredients, not overworking them, not over seasoning them. I'm not trying to do too much with them. When a scallop tastes good, it tastes, tastes good, and that's it. It's nothing to do with what sauce you add to it. His ham hock has been vacuum sealed in a bag before being cooked in water. But his intricately prepared leeks have been causing him some concern. So here we go, the moment of truth. We'll feel set up. You can see lovely. So we're trying to replicate the round of the leek. Danny's pared down plating up should allow the flavours to speak for themselves. I'm putting on rack chives on the dish here. And here we have a little bit of watercress as well. And with the addition of some grated hazelnut, the main course is complete. Will Danny's surf and turf turn out to be the right combination for this competition? Nice and steady. Ian Higgins of the Sunday Tribune is joining Matthew for the tasting and sniffing. Ooh, it's that wonderful yeah. sweet caramel butterscotch smell of uh, seared scallops, yes. It's a very thoughtful piece of cooking. That combination of the saltiness of the ham hock and the sweetness of the scallop is actually, he's using the ham hock to season the scallop. I don't think there's ever any other yeah. seasoning in there. He's struck a nice balance there between being slightly experimental, mm. being true to the, to the ingredients as well. That's right, yes. Clear. This is a Matthew plate on Owen place. Is he a wee skinny guy, this one here? The leg is Yeah, that's a skinny one. I knew he was. You can always tell, can't you? Well, the well, nearly empty plates may have boosted Danny's confidence, but will his dessert continue the trend? No, dessert. I need to blow him away here. I need to really bring it up a wee notch. The apple and blackberry crumble is a very traditional British dessert. So Danny will be hoping that the way he serves it will elevate its status. Local apples, local blackberries. Hopefully I'll feel a bit more relaxed about putting this one up. I had the fear there putting that up, I must say, like it was very, very nervous indeed. He's adding a healthy dollop of ice cream to the dish, but it's the buttermilk milkshake that should set it apart. Very happy with those. Let's get them out today for the melt.